Hey guys, if you are looking for how you can download and install command line developer tools then you are in the right place. Watch this video until the end because I am about to show you step by step process to download and install the latest version of command line developer tools without using Xcode on our Mac machine correctly. This method works on both Mac models, be it the latest Apple Silicon or an Intel processor. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, copy this download link. I have provided this link in the video description. Now open up your favorite web browser. I am using Google Chrome here. Then paste the copied link into the search bar and hit enter. It will automatically start downloading the latest version of command line tools DMG file. It's around 430 megabyte file at the time of recording. It will take some time to download. All depends on your internet connection speed. Our command line developer tools DMG file is downloaded successfully. Now click on show in finder. Double click on this file. And it will open a window with the command line tools package. We need to install this package. Simply double click on this file. And it will start the setup wizard. Let me close all other windows so that we can focus on installation part. It says welcome to the command line installer. Click on continue button. Select your preferred language. I'll stick to English here. Click on continue again. To accept the license agreement, click on agree button. Make sure you have at least 2.54 GB of free disk space available and click on install button. Enter your Mac password here and click on install software button. This will start the installation process. It will take some time to install. And it's done. See the installation was successful message is printed here. Now we can click on close button. We don't need the package file anymore. Click on move to trash button. Congratulations you have successfully installed command line developer tools on your Mac machine correctly. Now you can install C++, Java, Python, C Sharp and all other softwares which requires command line tools. If you followed the steps in this video and reach until here, I am assuming this method has been working for you. So I am requesting you to please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It won't cost you anything but it will definitely boost my morale for making more such videos. Subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to install applications on your Mac machine easily and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.